Hello again, first grade. Happy Tuesday. Um, I'm so happy you were in the Google Meet yesterday, so you have been familiar with these words. But today we're going to work with them a little bit more, and then you're going to do some more charades. I love to see your creativity. So this will be our last week of vocab before Christmas. Next week we'll take a little bit of a break. There's lots to do, so stay focused. Make sure you're completing all your assignments each and every day. So our first vocabulary word is mutter, M-U-T-T-E-R, mutter. So when you mutter, you talk in a low, clear, un, a low, unclear way with your mouth nearly closed. So you can see this boy saying, what should I wear today? And the mom has to come back and say, what did you say? Because when you mutter, people really can't understand what you're saying. Sometimes another word for mutter is mumble. So he's clearly just got up. He's kind of tired. And he just mutters to himself. So it's, it's kind of like, when you talk to yourself in a low, unclear way that other people really can't understand. So, to mutter, what should I wear today? And then usually people have to ask you to repeat yourself. You know, they really can't understand you when you mutter. Do you see how my mouth is kind of closed? So you're not opening your mouth and enunciating when you mutter. People can't understand you. The next vocabulary word is to arrange. A-R-R-A-N-G-E. So... This girl is arranging her bears and her dolls on her bed. She's putting them in a particular order. So to arrange means to put a group of things or people in a particular order. So she has clearly an order from smallest to biggest. So she has a particular order about how she keeps her room. Maybe you have a particular order about how you keep your room clean, or maybe your mom or dad or grandma has a particular way they arrange the food in the pantry when you come home from the grocery store. Uh, Miss Gates likes everything to be arranged very nice and neat in neat rows. We keep our desks and arranged. We stay, keep our school supplies arranged and our desk in a certain way. So to keep things arranged is to keep them in a particular order. So maybe if there's a messy shelf at home, you can help your parents arrange it to put it back in order. Our next word is collapse. So this is a big tent and it just collapsed. Collapse mean, you've probably heard this word, fall down suddenly. So if you're building a big tower with your blocks, and then all of a sudden it just falls down. Or maybe you're trying to build a tower with cups and then just collapses. It falls down suddenly. You have no time to really fix it. So clearly you can see their faces. They're pretty surprised. Their tent just collapsed and they don't know what they're going to do. Collapse. And our last word this week is resent. So look right here at this little girl. Does she look happy or sad or angry? What do you think? She looks pretty upset and angry, but then there's these kids over here having a blast. So let's think, what does it mean to resent? To resent someone or something. To resent means to feel hurt or angry about something that has been done or said to you. So what do you think has happened to this poor girl who's way over here and then these girls who are swinging? You're probably right. It looks like she got left out. These girls are having fun on the swings and they didn't give her a chance. They didn't include her. So she's upset about the way they treated her. She's resentful. She's res she resents them for the way they treated her. She's mad and upset and angry because they didn't include her in the fun. Have you ever resented someone for the way that they treated you? I'm sure you have, or maybe you've treated someone a certain way to make them feel like that. So to resent is to, again, feel hurt or angry because something has been done or said to you. Maybe they said things that weren't very nice. So let's go back through. Repeat after me. This is resent, collapse, arrange, mutter. Let's do it one more time. Mutter, arrange. Collapse. Resent. Good luck today making your videos. Tomorrow we'll do pictures and matching. Great job.